Let's go in here. Oh, am I gonna have to amputate? The hecticomb. Oh, the hecatomb. What, what am I talking about? The first three months of the war saw especially heavily losses. August 22nd, 1914 was the bloodiest day of the whole year, with heavy casualties. The numbers of wounded were far greater than that had been anticipated, and the military health services struggled to cope with the scale of the conflict. Nurses. Nurses were the angels of the Great War, and were generally volunteers recruited by the Red Cross, the Army, or the American ambulances to work along ruling shifts in hospitals both at the front and behind the lines. They played the role of car carers, mothers, and confidants. They often feature in soldiers' memoirs and were sometimes their sole companion in death. The majority were demobilized at the end of the hostilities. Oh, man. Socks? Tallow socks. Socks soaked in refined tallow and coated with formal. The most effective way to beat the cold and damp. Frostbite and other ailments. That, at least, was what the adverts had people believe. However, effective the socks... However, effective the socks were, the soldier's best friend was always a nice dry pair. Or however effective the socks were, that's what it's saying. There's something flashing there. Is that actually going to fill up after time? I'm going to cut off his leg. Open these. Saw. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Chloroform, knock him out. At least it stays the same. Oh, dude. Okay, I lied. It does not stay the same. Oh, dude. I'm sorry, mate. When it's fast like that, it stays, it seems. Oh, man. Sorry, mate. That sucks. All right, amputated his arm, not his leg. Yeah, sorry, guys. All right, how do I... Is that saying it's missing something? All right, that one dude needed water. Flashing. Oh, there's a. You see that? There's a pull string over there. It's the tire, dude. There's the pull string I need. Aha! Got it. Wait, what? Oh, I needed to get... I'll get that scarf down, I guess. Alright, that dude needs, uh... Wait a minute, crutches. Did you just fall over, dude? Alright, let's go give water... to this guy. Here you go, dude. All good? Okay, so let's go get the saw. We're gonna cut down a tree now, too. Is that what's gonna make the crutches? Scarf. What's a scarf for? Who wants the scarf? Letter from a Prussian soldier. My dear daughter, we are making headway through the French countryside. The landscape is beautiful. I'd much rather be enjoying it with you than killing people. I think of you all the time, your father, Wolfgang. Ugh. Dead stuff everywhere. Hey guys. 
Okay, so that's probably what the, the tree is for. Who wants a scarf? Am I just carrying this around? Actually, let's see if I can... Do you want a scarf? No? Can I carry this at the same time? No, but there's a shiny here. Nurse's manual. The war effort suddenly required a large medical court and there were not enough qualified personnel. So manuals were published and distributed to help volunteers train. The manuals provided a whole host of practical solutions to logistical and medical problems at the front, such as how to make a splinter or stretcher using rifles and their straps. Okay. I don't know if I use the saw anymore, so I'm going to carry this. I don't... I haven't seen any crutches. Are there any in here? I just didn't see them? No. Uh... Okay. You want a scarf? Medical attention. Ow. Sorry, buddy. No problem. Dude, is a borkin over there. Oh, here. Also, what happened to my scarf? Did I just put that down? Where'd my scarf go? And why do I keep hearing dog barking? Oh, crutch. Can that be used as a crutch? Hairpin? Lice comb. In their journal, soldiers often recount their losing war against lice and rats in the trenches. Apart from lice powder, the only other prevention against lice was to fine toothed metal comb. Often, when soldiers took leave behind the lines, they were scrubbed down with hot water, the clothing boiled, or a new uniform issued. Whoa! Maybe I wrapped his arm in the scarf, even though it looks way different. No, because she pulled out actual gauze. I have a shovel for you, mate. There you go. That'll do, right? Alright, now what? I'm coming. Oh, whoa. You weren't down there a minute ago. Is this the bad guy? Nope. Morphine? Ow, what did I just pull out of him? A bullet? Or a shrapnel? Feeling better? Oh, he just flashed the it in. No. Officers were talking about Belgium. The German army was about to experiment with a new weapon near Ypres. Ypres. Anna got en route to warn her father about the imminent danger. 
Reaching the outskirts of the city, Anna was greeted by the screams of sirens. Man, that'd be terrifying. Yes, was already here. No. Ypres. Knowledge is power, achievement unlocked. Ypres, a town in ruins, dubbed Wipers by British troops due to its difficult pronunciation. <laughs> Wipers, that's funny. Yep. The Belgian tower Ypres was a key strategic position during the war, a hub for road, rail, and canal networks. It became the target for sustained bombing from 1914. In 1915, the Germans even used chemical warfare on the town. By the end of the war, the majestic cathedral and town center were nothing but ruins. It's unfortunate, man. Technology at work. In the wake of the technological advances of the early 20th century, the vast scope of the industrialized war brought developments in all fields. Aircraft, submarines, dirigibles. What's that? What's a dirigible? And tanks. Great progress were made in the fields of med medicine, surgery, medical hygiene, and radiology thanks to, the, thanks to Mary Curie's work, who took thousands of x-rays of the wounded. Isn't it Marie Curie? Did I pronounce that wrong? No. Nobody take deep breaths. Looking for a guy with a hat. Oh, don't fall. Oh, I thought she was going to fall down. All right, I can climb that, I think. What's this, a letter? Letter from a Scottish soldier. Hello, pal. I'm in the town of Ypres. Yeah, I already for forgot how to pronounce it. In Belgium, a pretty wee, tea wee town that must have been bra before the war. The beer, too, I too in bad. Oh, I should probably be reading this. I, I really should be giving these people voices and stuff, but whatever. I'd much rather be downing ale with you, though, boy. I'm off to the front in two days. Take care of yourself and, and say how do to the family. John McCormack. Man, the art is just fantastic. Oh, helping someone. Gonna do some CPR. Have some water. Wait, what? You just pass out again? Whoa. What the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? Oh, I think I broke the game. Cause I can't even move now. Hold on a minute. I broke the game. I legit broke the game. Option. I can't even move. Keyboard. I broke the game. Dang it. Okay. Hundred collectible items, huh? Anna got on route to warn her father about. Yeah, I did skip some cutscenes on accident. The deadly gas was already here. I'm gonna go do this again. Can't move. Oh, that's cool. It already counts as you got it. Okay. 
Let's see if I break the game again. Okay, so I save her, and then she f Okay, so she didn't bug out that time. That's funny. Yeah, don't walk that way. Bad. Yeah. That was a weird bug, huh? <laughs> Alright, death bug that way. Key. the key. It's probably in this building. Oh, I can still walk this way. Oh, I got a key. Okay. Whoa. Got a cog. Break. Ish. All right, got a cog. I only have one. No, not that one. This one. I pull this. Oh, it's not big enough. Many are there. Oh, there's a big one. Good. I was gonna say some one of these is not big enough. There you go. Then... There you go. There's gotta be another big one somewhere. There it is. Eepers, wake up call. Alright, don't break my by walking on you, please. That would suck. Yeah. Okay. That free my friends down below? Not sure it did a nice number on everything down there. Crap. Did I miss a collectible by not crossing that mini bridge? I got you, don't worry. <laughs> nice little open the window latch down there. It's okay, buddy. What's going on? This is gonna hurt. Both of them at the same time, huh? That's new. Oh, snap. Yeah. No problem, buddy. What's that? Broken walking stick. The knob 
is all the remains of the walking suit. The stick has been carefully sculpted, a souvenir of the trenches, unfortunately a broken